Welcome audience to my presentation for Early Childhood Voice 2022 conference. I am Shukla Shikdar, working as a lecturer in School of Education at Charles Sturt University in Australia. The title of my presentation is Blast Off Children's Cognition and Imagination about the Solar System through STEM-based play. First, I would like to acknowledge the Uriyajuri, Naganwal, Gungungura, and Piripai peoples of Australia, who are the traditional owners and custodians of the lands on which CSU's campuses are located and pay respect to their elders, both past and present. I also like to acknowledge um, educators and children in a regional child care center where I have collected my data. I also um, extend uh, my acknowledgement to Professor Marilyn Flair and Cultural Historical Research Community, who helped to shape my understanding about cultural historical theory. And also like to acknowledge um, Charles Sturt University Faculty Research Establishment Grant because I received the fund for doing this project. And during this presentation, um, I would talk about VF literature review um, and then the research question. I will. Um, uh, talk and then the theoretical lens, why I have used cultural historical research methodology, um, my analytical framework, and uh, I'll show video data and how I have analyzed the video data, um, followed by findings, and um, we'll present my argument and final reflection. So um, while I have done the literature review, um, it is found that children need to be engaged in STEM-based um, experiences while they are playing or uh, in play-based learning. And um, educators' perception um, in teaching STEM in early childhood uh, play-based con context, um, um, it shows that um, educators are still not very confident. Um, however, um, if they can do intentional teaching plan ahead, then they can provide um, engaged STEM activities for children. And because this paper particularly focus on a solar system, so um, I found very few literature um, who um, unpack or shows children's learning in relation to solar system. So based on the literature review, I have um, developed my research question, which is how do educators create a learning environment and an imaginative sphere for children to explore our solar system through a bit of play. So I am using cultural historical theoretical lens for my um, presentation. Uh, particularly um, in this paper, I'll focus children's conceptual learning and development, which is a dynamic process. And um, I use um, children's emotional experience with in Russian language called Pezivanie. And in this presentation, I'll focus how children's emotional engagement is really matter for their learning and development. So um, why I'm using cultural historical research methodology? Because cultural historical research methodology looks at the whole process, um, which is we want to see children's holistic development, um, that the relationship of the child in the environment to understand the cultural development of the child. I am using digital video tools, which is um, as part of digital visual research methodology. And for this, um, this um, project, I have collected almost 50 hours video data and um, in a regional child care center her 64 children are presented and um, for this presentation particularly i have analyzed 120 minutes of video data of a series of three relevant stem based play experiences where children three to five years explore and learn about the solar system so now i'm going to show video clips um a short video clips
So as you can see, um, the video presentation of the multiple C's um, of how children are engaged um, to learn about the solar system in multiple ways, um, which I called multimodal play-based experience. Um, so um, I have used dialectical interactive approach um, to analyze the data to understand the process of children's um, learning in relation to solar system to um, play. So first I used common sense analysis, which um, includes a common understanding of the visual data in relation to children's emotional experience in the context of children's STEM learning. And then um, I examined key concept across the data set, which identifies children's STEM learning in the context. And finally, I have used thematic level analysis, which linked between theoretical understanding and analysis of children's emotional experience in the settings in video data for answering the research question. So um, the findings uh, mainly focus um, that how children um, learn. So in this um, data set, it's found that educators make an intentional teaching plan about the solar system for term four, and the plan includes multimodal play-based experience through group time and imaginative play including um, reading, a storybook, watching, um, YouTube clip, uh, designing um, helmets, uh, exploring relevant space materials, um, models of relevant space materials, um, using blocks to build rockets, and they also do did imaginative play. So specifically, children learn the name, characteristics, and shapes of multiple planets. Children imaginative and explorative play supports them in understanding gravity, speed, and extending their understanding of the properties of various planets of the solar system. So the argument for this paper is that um, educators created uh, multimodal play-based experiences for children, and they created conditions, um, um, learning conditions, so that children learn through play, they enjoy their play experience, um, they enjoy their group time. However, um, children learn learning also depend on their individual awareness or consciousness and how they interpret their learning and their emotional attachment to the environments. So the final reflection for this paper is that um, educators created the experience to engage all children in teaching the solar system However, all children are not actively engaged in the activities as we expect. So children who are emotionally engaged in the activities and consciously aware of the experiences, it is viewed they show enthusiasm, curiosity and imagination and creativity to explore the solar system. So children's emotional experience is uh, really matter for their learning and how they are conscious in the context, in the environment, their relationships to the environment, and how educators um, support them to engage in the environment. So these sort of things are really matter for children's learning and development. So thank you for uh, listening my presentation.